Hey everyone! Okay, so welcome back to another video. Now, um, this is just a bit of a quick news kind of update video for you because I am still busy, busy, busy working on the next video, which is, um, it's gonna be on, well, if you've seen the teaser, I think you can probably guess what it's gonna be. But it's a little place that I never got to go to, which I really wanted to, and I've done a lot of research on this one, and I've discovered a lot of really cool new footage and new photos and things so I think you're definitely going to want to come and check this one out but anyway um I decided to take a little bit of a break for that to do a quick filler video to basically talk about uh, some Sonic merch news which has basically come to light this week well been announced come to light same thing so anyway the first bit of uh, news that I want to talk about is actually from a Japanese company now I want to make sure I get the name right here called Edit Mode. It's a Japanese clothing company called Edit Mode, and they do some pretty nice uh, shirts and designs here and there. Well, they've announced that they're going to be doing some Sega and Sonic related items, so I figured we should take a look at them and see what exactly they're like. So, the first shirt that they've got up for order is based on the Sega Mega Drive, and it kind of looks a bit like a, a sports jersey. I've just got it here in front of me now, so I'm looking at it whilst I'm talking to you guys. It's got the great big 16 on it, because 16 bits. Yeah, it's, um, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it feels like I've seen this design so many times before all over the world. It's a bit, yeah, it was cool at first, but not that interested in this one, fortunately. But anyway, uh, moving on to the next one, we have this pretty nice Sonic logo. So yeah, it's based off Sonic 1 classic artwork. Um, it's, um, I want to say it's cool. In fact, I do really, really like this design. The problem is, we've seen this design a lot. Like, I think the very first time I actually saw this design on a shirt in recent years was way back in 2011 when they started doing these, like, new classic artwork style designs and for stuff. So, yeah, I've definitely seen this design before, so I'm not that excited for this one, but I guess if you don't own this design and you really, really want it, there is that opportunity there. But the next design is the one I want to talk about, because this design is awesome. And I just need to adjust the glasses, because yeah, I'm still sporting the broken glasses, but not for much longer, thanks to you lot. Yeah, thanks to you lot, and thanks to me for going to the opticians. Anyway, that's another story. But anyway, the next design. So this one is awesome. I really like this. Now, it does look a bit basic, I've got I've got to admit. It's just um it looks like Sonic's been hit by a badnik or something and he's landing on a Green Hill Zone platform. Oh no, the Green Hill Zone. But I like this because there's actually rings coming coming off around him. Uh some of them have been mysteriously collected, which I I, I don't really understand, but I don't care because what I really love about this t-shirt is it looks really basic and really simple, but if I show you some of the other images, like a close-up on the actual Sonic design, you can see just how well this is stitched. Look at that, that looks gorgeous, it's really well done, the detail on that is amazing. You know, um, the Green Hill, the Green Hill platform I think is a printed design, but it looks from the images I'm looking at here that the Sonic is actually stitched on, so that's really cool, that's really cool detail there, but the detail actually goes a little bit further because you've noticed that he's actually just, he, it's almost like he's falling into the pocket on the shirt. Well, they've got some pictures on here where they actually show you inside the pocket, and if you look inside, they've actually got some writing in there, it actually says Sonic the Hedgehog, and I think it's like, I think it says, the, I think the full text is the world's most famous... I think it's like the most famous hedgehog in the world. I think that's what it says. Yes, yes, I think it is that. Yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm just looking closer to say, yeah, I think it says the most famous hedgehog in the world. And it looks like there's also the company logo in there as well. But that's so cool. The fact they've actually put that level of detail into that. And there's some other little things as well. Like there's the Sonic logo on there. There's like a trail of rings that goes down. And it also goes onto the back as well by the looks of things. So... I like that. I think that's a really nice design. And it looks like this one comes in either black or blue, so you have the choice of two colours there. 
But this next thing is the one I wanted to talk about. Now, first of all, figures have been making Sonic statues for a very long time. I can't remember when they first started to make them, but it's got to be getting on for 10 years now, maybe even slightly longer than that. It's got to be it's got to be a long time. Anyway, um they've been teasing a brand new modern Sonic statue. In fact, we've actually seen it. There's actually been like a small um sample of it shown. Um I I don't think I I can't, I can't look for the image because I can't find it anywhere. But um Yesterday, they announced a statue would be going on sale next week, next Friday. And I had heard about this statue, actually, many, many years ago. And it was a but way, way before it was being teased. And I actually did think this had been cancelled, because it was when First Four Figures were doing their Oh, we need people to buy our stuff, otherwise we're going to cancel all the lines. Yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah, don't 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 try and blackmail us by saying, oh, if you don't buy our stuff, we're not going to make them anymore. That doesn't work. Um, so I did want to think that this statue had actually been cancelled, but it turns out, no, it hasn't been cancelled. It's actually getting made, and this statue is really cool looking so far. It's of Tails carrying Sonic whilst he's flying, and it looks so cool! I, I really like it. Now, now they've shown a, a teaser trailer, which um, I, um, I don't know if I'm going to play some footage for you with it or not. I might just show some stills from that one. But there's also like a full image as well of the actual statue. And I've got to admit, it does look really cool. I really do like it. But um, something that I'm kind of uh, curious about is that um, they've only shown the Sonic and the Tails bit. And it's unclear at the moment if... That is it. Like, like you'll sit the Sonic figure down and Tails will be sort of balanced above him. But that doesn't seem very stable to me. So I'm wondering if there's going to be like a, an actual base as well. And maybe something that actually holds the statue. Yeah, it's um, it, it's curious because um, when I got, I got a little uh, hint about this. And I'm not going to spoil the surprise here. But when I was when I was told about the plans for this initially, and this was many years ago, many many years ago, I was told that there was going to be a third thing in this in this statue. Ah, yeah. So I don't know if this is going to be like the exclusive variant, like this. There's going to be a surprise here, or if it has been completely redesigned and you know retooled, but. I was under the impression that there would actually be something else in this, and that this wasn't necessarily a statue, but more of a diorama type thing. But they don't mention it as being a diorama. In fact, um, um, yeah, they don't. They don't actually. Yeah, they don't mention it's a it's a diorama, or if it is an actual statue. So it is still possible. Um, I'm not going to spoil the surprise if it is what I think it is. But um, if it it doesn't turn out to be what I was told a long time ago. I might discuss that in a future video. You know, it was like a nice little follow-up. But um, yeah, that's um, that's a cool thing. Uh, now, there's no details on the prices, and this is a this is a very big thing for me. This is really important. Um, I stopped buying first four figure statues a long time ago. I, in fact, I think my last the last statue I bought was the tornado statue, and. That statue was the first one I bought for a long time because the quality of first four figure statues at one point just absolutely collapsed. Like, they were shipping with so many problems that stuff was breaking on them all the time. And so I got the I got the tornado statue, and in the actual wings of the tornado statue, there's a magnet, and in Sonic's foot, there is an incredibly powerful magnet, and it had been on display for ages. And all of a sudden, the magnet in Sonic's foot was so powerful, it just ripped the magnet that was in the wings completely out and broke it. Now, fortunately, I got a replacement part for that, so yeah, I was able to fix it, but I was not happy. And because of this, I haven't bought another First World Figure statue since, because they are so expensive, but they're so prone to faults. And there's, there's usually a problem, like... um. The tail statue had some black smudges on, on it when it turned up, and they actually admitted to me in an email from one of the staff members that yes, they'd identified a problem in production and they were fixing that. So 
I'm not sure if there's still issues with their statues, because I know as well they've recently banned people from bringing up issues and problems on their Facebook group, which, it, again, that's not good. So, yeah, um, first of all, figure stuff for me, it looks really cool, but you have to be so, so careful. So I might, I might hold off on this one. I'm just going to sort of keep my eye on it and see what it looks like. The GNF toy stuff, that, that's awesome. I'm really excited for that. And, oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, GNF Toys also announced um, that they're going to be bringing out uh, Metal Sonic and Eggman next, which, yay, because those figures looked incredible. I did talk about them before. So, yeah, I'll definitely be getting those. And, yeah, you have to order them through first four figures. But that's okay, because GNF Toys make those. But, yeah, um... I'm not necessarily, uh, basically, I'm not going to bite the bullet or pull the trigger on getting the Sonic and Tails statue just yet. I want to wait until I see how much it's going to be, and I might look, see if I can find anything about what, if First World Figure stuff has gone up in quality, or if there have been some horror stories, because they're very expensive and they're very large, and yeah, you've got to be careful, you've got to be so careful. Okay guys, so that's all I really wanted to talk about. Um, what do you think? Are you guys excited for any of this stuff that I've talked about? Are you definitely going to be pre-ordering this stuff no matter what? Or are you going to be like me and just wait and see on this one? But anyway guys, um, thank you very much for watching and listening to my thoughts on this. Uh, the next big video should hopefully be ready uh, this week. By this week I mean the approaching Monday. I'm trying to get it done before the end of before the Friday. Um, it should definitely be done by then, I hope. But like I said, it's a very long video and it's taking a very, very long time to finish. Um, a big thank you to my team Awesome, my donators and Patreon supporters. Their names are um, somewhere, probably, probably down there. I'm not sure. They're somewhere. They're somewhere. But thank you guys. And if you guys would like to join the Badnik Army... Yeah, that's a thing I'm going to be doing from now on. If you'd like to join the Badnik Army, please click the subscribe button and the bell notification button. That way you might get a chance to find out when I upload a video. Because YouTube! Massive! Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.